You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events right here in Scotland County. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in Scotland County, it's on right here. Welcome to Carolina and Company. We are on the road in Scotland County, Laurenburg, and we are at Scotland Place. This is a place that you can learn a lot when it comes to senior citizens. They're doing so much for them up here in the North Carolina area. We're going to learn a lot about that today. That's right. Right now, we're on a walking trail, and you know, the signs say at each little place, you can do a little exercise. There's your exercise. Yeah. Circle that's, your arms. That's my exercise. You know, if you keep doing that, yeah. it'll hurt for after a while. Really? Yeah, look at my guns. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much stuff you're going to learn today. And uh, senior citizens, if you're watching, stay tuned because you're going to learn a lot about things you can do right here in the Laurenburg and Scotland County areas because it's Senior Citizen Day for us. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back on the road, Laurenburg, Scotland Counties. And we're dealing with seniors today, all the things they have to offer for them. And now we're going to talk a little bit about the Recreation Department and uh, a program called SHIP. We've got Haley with us, and Haley, you're the program director. You provide activities here at Scotland Place. Tell us about them. We do. We have um, daily exercise activities for the seniors. Um, we are currently enhancing those programs to be a more moderate to advanced. Um, we offer, we have monthly groups that meet, uh, weekly groups, like we'll have bingo that'll meet this afternoon. Cool. They do play for prizes. Um, that's quite a large group. That goes on throughout the year, every Tuesday. Um, we have a crochet that will meet on Wednesdays. They do a lot of outreach. They're currently doing lap blankets for some of the assisted living facilities in the area um, for wheelchair um, patients. We are a North Carolina um, SHIP certified site, which means that we serve um, upcoming, current, potential Medicare um, okay. recipients. Um, you know, Medicare can be a confusing thing for people, so we, we try to serve as a liaison there at and, the council And to site. be, you know, to be certified as the um, retirement community, you guys have to provide activities and things for seniors Absolutely. to do. And Absolutely. And have you seen a, really a lot of people get involved? A lot yes, of we have. We serve um, well over, I'd say approximately two to three hundred seniors currently. Wow. Um, quite through all the programs, and that's through the month, of course. Um, there are quite a few different groups that are currently taking new members, asking for new members, because um, they want to keep the groups going. So we have quite a bit to offer. Um, we encourage people to inquire, contact the office and inquire about any of the activities, the groups. Um, we'd love to get that. All right, a lot of seniors like to walk. Do you have a walking area for we them We do. Too? We actually have the yeah. walking trail um, right. uh -huh. that we've just cleaned up. We have also have um, shuffleboard, bocce court, horseshoes. Um, the disc golf is currently under repair. Um, but yes, the walking trail is something that is quite utilized. Not today, unfortunately, um, <laughs> because of the weather hasn't been that great. But yes, it is utilized normally on a daily basis. Well, I'm sure a senior, being a senior citizen myself, we can appreciate what all y'all do here in North Carolina. And uh, I think it's great. It gives them something to do, activities, and you know, it's something Absolutely. to do every day. Healthy mind, healthy body. That's right. And knowing that when they do retire down here, there's a community they can plug in and get involved in. Which Absolutely. Is, which is really and great. we will continue to grow and enhance our programs, of course. So. Again, we encourage um, anyone to call and inquire about so our So just call the office. Programs. If Absolutely. they want to come, get involved, make some friends. Yes, it's probably a great please. opportunity for them to make new friends Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. All right, any senior citizens play soccer ball? Of course they do. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering. I don't know if I can do all the running and all they do there. Of course they okay. do. Right, Most now, of our seniors are in better shape than we are. I, I can believe it. Well, what, now, tell me, how can they get in touch with you to get involved in all of this now? They can contact our office. Um, they can ask to speak with me, of course, Haley. The phone number is 910-277-2550. We are located at 1210 Turnpike Road here in Laurenburg. Um, they're welcome to stop by the office um, to participate in a program for a day, view a program, see if it's something they're interested in. Do you have a schedule of telephone. programs they can see? We do. Awesome. We have a monthly calendar that comes out. We have a brochure, so we have all that information readily available. We're currently also updating our webpage, so that it'll also be available online as well. What's your webpage? It is 
currently under the scotlandcounty.org, but it will okay. be um, separate for Scotland Place and for the senior activities. That's Recreation nice. Department, looking That's out for the seniors. I think that is so much fun. Thank you, And Haley. you will, too, Thank you. when you reach to be a senior. I look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got more coming up from the Laurenburg, Scotland County area. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Feeling hungry? Then get to Nick's Pick Quick. At Nick's, you'll find a full selection of fresh handmade food that's guaranteed to satisfy any appetite. Huh? Yeah, that's right. We said fresh. Fried chicken, chicken wings, buffalo wings, mac and cheese, and more. Plus, buy pizza by the slice or buy it by the whole pie. And did I mention our pizza dough is made from scratch every day? So whether you're in the mood for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even just a quick snack, make it Nick's. With 13 locations, there's one right around the corner. Nick's Pickwick. This is not some place you have to be. This is a place that you want to be. You get that feeling when you come in that, wow, I'm home. People that live in neighborhoods, they come and say, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so well developed. Six o'clock this morning, I was in the fitness center. Yeah. We'll be tomorrow, walk in the days in between, swim. Enthusiasm, that's what they have here, enthusiasm. So come on down and join us. We'd love to have you. Southeast Farm Equipment is your leading John Deere tractor dealer in North and South Carolina. Got a job to do? Get the right tool right here. Our team of John Deere professionals will make sure you have exactly what you need and when you need it. We have everything from lawnmowers and handheld products to large agricultural equipment. Plus, when it comes to keeping your deer running, we've got you covered. So stop in today or visit us online at southeastfarmequipment.com. We are redefining and reimagining what it means to deliver. Because to us, why deliver when you can over deliver? So we've engineered a car with a warming oven heated up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Introducing the 2016 Domino's DXP. Order two medium, two topping pizzas for $5.99 each and learn more about the DXP at dominoes.com. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We are on location in Scotland County, Laurenburg, a certified retirement community. We are at Scotland Place and we are here with Corey. And Charles, hey guys, how, how are you? How's it going? Good. Good. All right, so a certified retirement community. Tell us what that means. Uh, about seven years ago, uh, North Carolina decided let's start to market our state to retirees from up north. Okay. And obviously, South Carolina, North Carolina, Florida, folks have always migrated here, but they made an effort to let's go out and do advertising, let's uh, go to retirement fairs, let's do online pushes and get folks to say, yes, I want to move to North Carolina. And so what a certified retirement community does is we then partner with North Carolina. And once someone says, yeah, I want to move to or retire to North Carolina, they turn over that information to the certified communities. And we're able to then say, don't just consider North Carolina, consider Laurenburg. So we're trying to get folks to, to move in and, uh, and retire here and spend their senior years uh, in our community. What kind of criteria are we talking about when you have to do this now, Charles? What do you well, have it's very competitive. When we uh, were selected this past time, we were only one of two uh, communities. And uh, there's a lot that goes into it with the, the health care system, Scotland health care system that I know y'all yeah. visited a lot of times um, our uh, colleges that we have St. Andrews um, University and our RCC Community College so there's a lot of things that go into it that uh, that luckily with the help of Corey and everybody with the TDA we were selected. Well yeah. it's great that y'all are doing something for the seniors I think that's great yeah, Corey. Absolutely. Yeah and as you've witnessed there's a lot of things going on here and uh, you know one of the things that, that really made Raleigh say, yeah, you guys should be a certified community is location. It's, it's mm. real estate, right? Location, location, location. And we're 100 miles from a lot of different places, or 100 miles or less, from Florence, from the beaches, from Raleigh, from Charlotte. So one of the things we promote is, let's say it's, it's a fall Sunday morning. Do you want to go to the beach? you want to go to the Panther game? There's very few places in the country <laughs> that yeah, can say cool. you have that kind of a choice. Uh, so location was very important. Also, the folks that we're targeting are up in the Northeast. They're Washington, mm -hmm. Philadelphia. A lot of them are municipal uh, workers, firemen, police, teachers. They have a pension, so they're looking for you know, a place to settle in, but not settle onto a, a, a porch and rock their years away. They want to travel a lot, and so we give them an opportunity to come down here and be in a lot of different places. The 74 corridor allows them to go east-west. 95 allows them to go north-south. So that was a really important reason to come here was location. 
The other thing that they said really differentiated us from everybody else was a public-private partnership that we brought. The city and Charles took a lead in making us eligible. It has to come from the city. The city council was involved, the county commissioners, uh, TDA, the chamber, uh, economic development. But then we brought about uh, overall over a dozen partners to help promote it from the uh, private partnerships. Mm -hmm. So the folks at the hospital that, that Charles talked about, at RCC, at St. Andrews, are all helping to fund the program as well. And the folks in Raleigh said no community had ever come with this much public-private partnership uh, out of the gate. So it's a great wow. thing. Right, and so uh, there are only about 15 towns, right, that have That's this. Right. Charles, talk to us about that. Is there a certain reason for that? Well, I think it's the, the size, the state has the size criteria. They like to keep it under 50,000 square, or 50,000 population. The city has 16,000 in the city of Lombard. The county has 36,000 here. And, and just the things we bring to the table with the, the health care system that's located in this community, mm. with the, the, the school systems that we have and RCC and St. Andrews, and uh, really just the pushing for economic development. We're trying to look at, at different other directions to pull this in. We've got a partnership with the city and county with our EDC, so we're excited to be a part of it. All right, now it's become a place to live, work, play, and now retire? You got it. You Put got it all it. together? Lorenberg. All right. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right. We got a lot more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Southeast Farm Equipment is your leading John Deere tractor dealer in North and South Carolina. Got a job to do? Get the right tool right here. Our team of John Deere professionals will make sure you have exactly what you need and when you need it. We have everything from lawnmowers and handheld products to large agricultural equipment. Plus, when it comes to keeping your deer running, we've got you covered. So stop in today or visit us online at southeastfarmequipment.com. We're redefining and reimagining what it means to deliver. Because to us, why deliver when you can over deliver? So we've engineered a car with a warming oven heated up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Introducing the 2016 Domino's DXP. Order two medium, two topping pizzas for $5.99 each and learn more about the DXP at dominoes.com. Feeling hungry? Then get to Nick's Pick Quick. At Nick's, you'll find a full selection of fresh handmade food that's guaranteed to satisfy any appetite. Huh? Yeah, that's right. We said fresh. Fried chicken, chicken wings, buffalo wings, mac and cheese, and more. Plus, buy pizza by the slice or buy it by the whole pie. And did I mention our pizza dough is made from scratch every day? So whether you're in the mood for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even just a quick snack, make it Nick's. With 13 locations, there's one right around the corner. Nick's Pickwick. This is not some place you have to be. This is a place that you want to be. You get that feeling when you come in that, wow, I'm home. People that live in neighborhoods, they come and say, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so well developed. Six o'clock this morning, I was in the fitness center. We'll be tomorrow, walk in the days in between, swim. Enthusiasm, that's what they have here, enthusiasm. So come on down and join us. We'd love to have you. You're watching Carolina & Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back to On the Road, Laurenburg, Scotland County. And we're visiting Laurel Hill School now. And they've got a volunteer program here that involves senior citizens and uh, Looks like a lot of fun. I know, absolutely. So we have Charlie and we have Beverly with us and you guys are volunteers here at Laurel Hill. Beverly, tell us what's your favorite thing about being a volunteer. My favorite thing about being a volunteer is I semi-retired when I was much younger. <laughs> and so, but I still needed something to do. So I started substituting and I just obviously fell in love with Laurel Hill Elementary School. So I still sub here occasionally and I love it. It's a great thing to do. And a partnership that we have formed with Laurel Hill School at Snead's Grave United Methodist Church, which is about two miles down the road. <laughs> uh, down the road. It's down the road, close to the big oak tree. <laughs> so uh, the ladies, they love to partnership with uh, Laurel Hill Elementary. Uh, the, the whole staff here is just great. Wonderful. And they, we, they start off in the uh, late summer before school starts. They start with a luncheon, and, and, and it's for all the teachers 
assistance. It's for all the staff of the school here. So y'all have a fun time today. We right. have a wonderful right, let me ask time. Charlie, Love and food, tell anything me, they tell have. Tell me what you like about this volunteer, about the program that you're doing. Here. Well, let, let me tell you something. Laurel Hill is one of the greatest places that, uh, that I've, well, I've lived here since Oh my gracious, 1966, <laughs> so yeah. uh, and Laurel Hill is, uh, we moved to Laurel Hill in 1970 and Phyllis, my wife, uh, taught school here. In fact, uh, you know, the, it's just been a, just a great, small, homely community to live in. So it puts you back in here doing a little volunteer work. Yeah, it does, work. and, and I, I, I love Laurel Hill because it was my, probably my favorite place because she worked in it so long. and. In fact, I know she was in kindergarten 18 years before, and uh, when the school was built, uh, we, uh, it, well, it's, I, I just, it's hard to explain. Well, you, all you got to do is keep on volunteering, as long yes. as you're having fun, and, and that's what it looks like y'all are And I know doing. the teachers, we and do. they yeah. appreciate we do. it, yeah. too. Well, and Keisha, yeah. Keisha yeah, makes it do. so much better. And that's who we're getting ready folks. to talk to. Oh, we'll right. be right well. back with the principal, Keisha Hood. We'll see you guys in just a second. We're redefining and reimagining what it means to deliver. Because to us, why deliver when you can over deliver? So we've engineered a car with a warming oven heated up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Introducing the 2016 Domino's DXP. Order two medium two topping pizzas for $5.99 each and learn more about the DXP at dominoes.com. Southeast Farm Equipment is your leading John Deere tractor dealer in North and South Carolina. Got a job to do? Get the right tool right here. Our team of John Deere professionals will make sure you have exactly what you need and when you need it. We have everything from lawnmowers and handheld products to large agricultural equipment. Plus, when it comes to keeping your deer running, we've got you covered. So stop in today or visit us online at southeastfarmequipment.com. This is not some place you have to be. This is a place that you want to be. You get that feeling when you come in that, wow, I'm home. People that live in neighborhoods, they come and say, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so well developed. Six o'clock this morning, I was in the fitness center. We'll be tomorrow, walk in the days in between, swim. Enthusiasm, that's what they have here, enthusiasm. So come on down and join us. We'd love to have you. Feeling hungry? Then get to Nick's Pick Quick. At Nick's, you'll find a full selection of fresh handmade food that's guaranteed to satisfy any appetite. Huh? Yeah, that's right. We said fresh. Fried chicken, chicken wings, buffalo wings, mac and cheese, and more. Plus, buy pizza by the slice or buy it by the whole pie. And did I mention our pizza dough is made from scratch every day? So whether you're in the mood for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even just a quick snack, make it Nick's. With 13 locations, there's one right around the corner. Nick's Pick Quick. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We are on the road in Scotland County. We are at Laurel Hill Elementary School with the principal, Keisha Hood. How you doing? Good. How are you guys this Good. morning? Good. So tell us about your volunteers. You've got senior volunteers that come. What do they do? Wow. We have wonderful volunteers here at Laurel Hill. We just had a luncheon for them a couple of weeks ago, and we had over 30 that we invited who are very loyal to our school. Um, for across the county, we have a group of seniors who help out with our swimming program um, from September all the way until May three days a week they are in the pool helping fourth graders learn how to swim so that's a big part of what seniors do for scotland county schools to help out um, they also come to help students that need some one-on-one -on -one reading time they also come out to help us you know in the office with things that we need there they'll come out and judge like door decorating contests that we have come out and read with the kids for read across america they help us with field trips. They, you know, are always in and out of our building helping with luncheons. So there's or not helping. just one thing that they do. There's a oh, lot no. of opportunities. Absolutely, you guys have. absolutely. They can come anytime that they need to because we, if we, they're coming to help us, we we love to see them come through those doors because we have so many ways that they can help the kids here at our school and all across Scotland County. All right. Well, here's the thing: your schools are tight, funds are tight now. When you can get volunteers like this mm. to help you, that's mm -hmm. giving you an extra hand to do things you need to do. Absolutely, it's invaluable. It's invaluable. You can take those students that, you know, the teacher can't get some one-on-one -on -one time with or not enough of time yes. and take that one volunteer and make a big difference in that kid, getting them AR points, helping with their reading fluency and just building their confidence. So if they want to volunteer, what do they need to do? 
they just, just get in contact with you. Get in contact with us. We have a form that we have in Scotland County that's okay. a part three form based on what um, exposure they're going to have with the students, level one, two, or three, Wonderful. and then okay. we would let them know what they need to do from there. Well, thank you so much. All right, we got a lot more coming up. We're on the road in, uh, let's see, Laurenburg in Scotland County, and we got more coming up. Southeast Farm Equipment is your leading John Deere tractor dealer in North and South Carolina. Got a job to do? Get the right tool right here. Our team of John Deere professionals will make sure you have exactly what you need and when you need it. We have everything from lawnmowers and handheld products to large agricultural equipment. Plus, when it comes to keeping your deer running, we've got you covered. So stop in today or visit us online at southeastfarmequipment.com. The best beach music and party music with the Coastline Band and me, Jim Quick. We're going to be at Laurenburg Live After Five, brought to you by Smithfield Foods at the Scotland County Parks and Rec Complex on Turnpike Road. You better be there. It's going to be so much fun. Don't miss it. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We are on the road in Scotland County. We are at the Scotland Healthcare System. We are at the Cancer Treatment Center, That's Scotland right. County. That's right. We've got a lot of things we're going to talk about today, a couple of programs that we're going to talk about. First thing we're going to learn is something about a nurse program you all have going on. What is that exactly? Yes, it is new to Scotland, the Cancer Treatment Center, and it is our um, Scotland um, Navigator program. Okay. And I am the navigator for the Scotland Cancer Treatment Center. All right. Your name is Hope. Um, and Hope Gibson. You are a nurse here. Yes. And so tell us about nurse navigation. What does that involve? Okay. Well, we'll just talk a little bit about the actual process of that and yeah. how that um, takes place. Once a person um, is diagnosed, and that is usually takes place at the um, surgeon's office, Okay. and so you have the patient in there with the surgeon and they're being told that they have cancer. Um, the surgeon goes ahead and will tell them, I'm going to make your referral to the cancer center here in Scotland. Um, but that person goes home with lots of questions. And so instead of now, this process allows us to reach out to the patient in that waiting time before they actually come in to see us here at the cancer it's, center. So you kind of tell them. Informed. It yeah, does. and what to expect. It does. So um, now our surgeon's offices will tell the patient that um, within the next day, I contact those patients within 24 hours of diagnosis. Mm. Um, so I reach out to them by phone, um, tell them what my role is, and explain what the first day or what the consult is at the cancer center. Um, they have lots of questions about staging and about how what will go on that day and who should they bring with them and will they receive treatment on that first day. And so that's lots of questions that otherwise if this role was not in place, yes. they would just be out there for a week or so wondering what is Scotland Cancer Treatment Center all about? What am I doing? Where do I go? Yes. How does this process? And you don't mm -hmm. just do it at the beginning, mm -hmm. you follow through their I full follow treatment, through. correct? Yes, exactly. Um, so you, a lot of them, as they're checking in, they already go ahead and tell our receptionist. They said, "I've already, I know Hope." So I meet them <laughs> at the time of check-in, and I go into their medical oncology consult with them, and listen to everything that our medical oncologists have to say. Um, and I stay in the room with them and their family when the oncologist has finished, and talk about, "Do you understand what has just been told to you? Do you understand your diagnosis?" Do you understand the plan of care? Because wow. that's not straightforward. Everybody is different. Some folks reach us and they need additional scans. Some folks have everything they need and they are ready for treatment. But right. treatment looks different for everyone. Right. All right, y'all got something a coming up. For them, yeah, it's it's got to help them yeah. when you do that. It's mm -hmm. got to. All right, now, cancer survivors thing. This is something mm -hmm. that's coming up. Cancer survivor day. Yes. Now, what's that about, Mary? So that's uh, something that we do every year here in our clinic. We really enjoy it. It's um, nationally celebrated on the first Sunday of every June. Our mm -hmm. event is usually in May. But we come together and have a big celebration with all of our survivors. And it's usually a really good time. And we, have a, we enjoy having the opportunity to leave our clinical setting and to go out and interact with our survivors Absolutely. outside of our cancer mm -hmm. center. So where is it located? Where is what time? Um, we, it'll be at Laurenburg Presbyterian Church on Friday, May 20th. Um, at 6 o'clock um, will be uh, 
when the doors open, but the programming will begin at 6.30. And you can Very bring one, cool. Cancer Survivor can bring one gift, Yes, right? yes. You know, okay. it's such a fun wow. event that um, we know mm -hmm. that people would love to bring their entire family and <laughs> yes. have a great time, but we just don't uh, have the space, so we have to limit it, unfortunately, to just one guest. So May 20th, Laurenburg Presbyterian Church. Yes. Cancer Thank Survivor you, Day. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. cool. We appreciate it. Yeah, we learned so a lot much. today, I promise you. Yeah, we absolutely uh, have. We got a lot more coming up right here. All the road in Laurenburg and Scotland counties, I tell you, uh, I learn something every time I come up here. Every time. Every time. Got a we'll lot be right learn. back. This is not some place you have to be. This is a place that you want to be. Oh. You get that feeling when you come in that, wow, I'm home. People that live in neighborhoods, they come and say, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so well developed. Six o'clock this morning, I was in the fitness center. We'll be tomorrow, walk in the days in between, swim. Enthusiasm, that's what they have here, enthusiasm. So come on down and join us. We'd love to have you. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Welcome back to Carolina and Company on the road in Scotland County. We've been in Laurenburg today and we've had a great time. Our host location, Scotland Place, a retirement community area with recreation for senior citizens. They are certified in Laurenburg. Let's All play right. some ball. Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> All right, that's enough for the senior citizen today. We've had a great time. Don't forget, we'll be back next week right here in Laurenburg, Scotland County. And uh, we always have a great time when we come up here. Thanks a lot for watching today. Why'd you kick it so hard? I was trying to hit you in the head. I know it. <laughs>